found one. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, you guys. It has been a while since just a strictly duels video, so this will probably be one. I decided to try Warmonger just because I feel like I suck with her. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to get better with her, is all. Oh, I did that too late. Nice. Look at that punish. Oh, what, a, what is that punish, dude? Do I get this? Oh, barely. Barely. If you guys can hear dogs barking in the background, by the way. Excuse that. It's 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 not Millie this time. It's just other dogs. I've already I've already got them to stop barking and they just started barking again. So nothing I can do about it. Very distracting. I will say that. Hard to pay attention when they're barking. <laughs> but it is what it is. But yeah, whenever I play Warmonger, I feel very exposed. Like, I don't I don't feel good. You know? I feel I kind of feel like uh, I have to like give my opponent a light or a heavy. I, I, I don't know. She just feels very. Probably gonna do it again. Yeah, I, I read that, but he does it. Oh, geez. Warden is outrageous. Wow, okay. Didn't go for the last one. No move there. Still not moving. Rain advantage. He parries the heavy. Okay. The warden is insane. Oh no, 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 no. Oh! Oh! I almost threw that so hard, dude. Okay, okay, okay. That was scary. But uh, but yeah, I, I feel very exposed with her. I feel like it's just light or heavy, and then I, I can't do dodge forward like Warden can. You like dodge forward, he can just dodge forward, get in everything. It's infinite. I hit you once with one longer. That That's all she wrote. He does that, okay. That was kind of obvious, so I didn't think he would... uh expect that but is what it is he parried the okay he goes for the light parry mm, making a lot of reads here why does he parry that go for the top heavy no he doesn't hasn't punished me for that once yet okay there we go we read the light stuff nothing oh Oh, I'm bad. Oh, that's it, man. Wow, very close rounds. Those last two, literal one HP for me, both times. That was a good fight to start it off. But yeah, I need that. I need that practice on more muggers. So we're gonna try to stick to it. If I end up getting bored, we might switch to a game or two of the uh, of the event mode. We'll see. Good fight, brother. Good fight. Round one. All right, we have a new opponent. It's a shaman. See how we can react the second game on with dogs still barking in the background. Ugh. Okay, figure he's waiting, but we're gonna... Okay, no dodge attack to start it. See if he does a heavy soft faint. Okay. No dodge attack. Gonna hit him with some frame advantage. Okay, he goes for the deflect early, though. Okay, there we go. Ooh. No, sir. No, sir. Still no dodge. He's probably waiting for it, but... Okay, well, at least he didn't parry it. Dude, guys. These dogs. I'm literally gonna have to... I'm gonna have to stop recording after this, and I'm gonna have to go figure out what the heck they're barking at. They're just not... They're non-stop. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to pay attention. I don't even know if you guys can hear that, but it's so loud. Like, goodness. Okay. Well, I threw. So did he, though. Oddly enough. Tell he's waiting for a deflect. <clears throat> Jesus. Dude! I'm just messing up every reaction now, huh? Not dodging these, though. Should've let that fly? You kidding? 
Did his name just disappear for a second? Not dodging level ones at all, but I know as soon as I... Oh my gosh, that was so fast. Dude. Okay, man. Uh, I guess I'll just keep... I'll just keep level oneing. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to go deal with these dogs. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys can hear that, dude. Oh my goodness. Of course, like, as soon as I clicked the record button, there was no barking until I clicked the record button, and now it's just wow. non-stop, every half a second, barking. Like, this, this is outrageous. <laughs> Was that soft faint quicker than normal, or was I was I just a little slower than normal? I can't tell. Okay. I parried every zone he's done so far. He's not doing dodge attacks there either, which is weird. <clears throat> this guy plays weird. I'm just saying. I'm just so confused. What is going on? He's trying to differentiate. Oh, that one got him. Frame advantage. Okay. Weird game. I, I don't know. I, I think he's just trying to differentiate practice with deflex or something. I'm not sure. Um, but, hey, you know, it is what it is. Everybody's got to get their practice in somehow, so I understand. I'm going to go uh, fin figure out these uh, these dogs, and uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Good fight, man. Good fight. Round one. All right. I couldn't figure out what the dogs were, um, so I just shut the door, and, and hopefully I don't hear them anymore. But we found a new opponent, and it is actually the first guy we fought again, the Warden. And this time it's Centurion. Nice. Going to delay light. Okay. Frame advantage. Okay, he goes for it. Oh, bad read by me. Oh, wow, good read. There we go. I think with this punish, that should be a wrap. Okay, I wonder if you can parry Centurion's... um. Heavies on flash. Like, you can parry unblockables on flash. Can you parry Centurion's heavies on flash? I feel like I've tried it. Round two. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was just not even close. Like, I just couldn't. I, I don't know if the flash is faster on, on some attacks or something. But it, it seemed like I definitely was not able to do that. Okay, he interrupted me out of the last one. Nice. Dumb by me. Okay, still doing level ones despite being punished by them. Still doing level ones. Okay. Okay, I figured a parry was going there. Rain vantage. Hmm. This guy plays really weird. Okay. I'm just constantly on the lookout for my stamina here. There it is, finally. I was kind of waiting for that. Okay. Don't know why that caught, but it did. Okay, I punished him uh, in the first game whenever he was Warden uh, multiple times with the dodge, the side dodge heavy um, and already once this round, or uh, this game. And so I kind of was not thinking that he was going to commit to so many level 1s, but he still is. So, might need to watch out for that. Realistically, as soon as I actually start waiting for them, he's going to... He's going to, um... Okay, he did that again. What? Whatever, I mean, you know, keeps doing level ones. Ow. Okay, now he's going to start probably baiting. Throws that one. That was smart. Still not dodging on level threes. I should probably just let one fly. Yeah, I figured Perry was coming. I could tell just by his demeanor. Going to do it again? Oh, I would have done it again. Smart. I didn't have the hyper armor or the health to tank that. Ugh, okay. He's reading all those level threes, right? Um, yeah, I should just start letting them fly. I'm so, I'm so like, I can't say I'm super safe, um, but I am to a degree because like, I just feel like every time I see, I see these things happening, but as soon as I act on them, okay, still waiting. Okay, of course he makes the right read there. Gonna do it again. Okay. Oh, he can parry that. Okay, well, news to me. Ah, oh, right out of my heavy. I didn't even faint that. 
Did it, did it again. Oh, wow! I can delay it that much? Okay, is he gonna... Okay, we got him. Definitely difficult. Definitely difficult. I was I was hoping that he was going to parry uh, a heavy <clears throat> because, uh, you know, obviously what he's thinking is since I've got my light parried so much that I'm going to stop throwing lights. Um, that's why I keep throwing them, to be completely honest. Like, I, I keep throwing lights to people. I don't I don't get parried once or twice and stop. Like, you're going to have to parry me a good amount of times and in, in pretty good fashion for me to just stop throwing lights or, or at least throwing them a lot less because... Most people can't differentiate between light and heavy first off. And then second off, like, you know, I know what I think whenever I parry people's lights a lot. And I, after I parry like three or four, I'm like, dude, this guy, there's no way he's throwing another light. And then some opponents keep doing it and they tag me up, you know, like <laughs> they literally demolish me sometimes with just light attacks. And I'm like, holy crap. And I'm missing everything because I'm just not expecting that kind of response, you know, and sometimes it's them making the read just like I am and they keep throwing them. But the large majority of the time, it's just that they're not very good and they keep throwing it because they think it's going to work somehow. I don't know um, what that is. But <laughs> anyways, so it looks like he was just making the reads, man. It was pretty pretty good fight, man. Centurion, always tough. Good fight, brother. Good fight. Round one. All uh, right, baby. We have a pirate new opponent. Rep 2. Pirate is hard nowadays sometimes, man. Well, depending on the play style. <clears throat> depending on the play style. They can either be very easy or very, very difficult. Let's see what we got. Ma Mashallah. Light me out. Oh my gosh, what are my reads? You know what I mean? Oh no, I react to that, dude. Okay, he's dodging around quite a lot. Okay. Ah. Okay, we got him there. Victory. Missed the reaction on the dodge forward heavy. Man, there's certain characters that I have to play a good bit before I like... I don't know, it used to not be like this whenever I train and play a lot more more often. But Round now, two. like, for instance, Pirate's Unblockable. Like, I'm going to have to get hit by that thing three, four times. <laughs> Sometimes more before I start reacting, like, getting to the point where I'm able to react. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. I'm so used to just emoting in the beginning. But the same thing kind of goes for... Okay. Same thing kind of goes for Shaman and her soft faints. Okay, no dodge attack. There it is. Nice. For some reason, that got me. <laughs> Why do people parry that? I'll never understand it. It's just weird. Oh, I'm dumb. Frame advantage. Oh, oh, that that was. Oh man, any of you really high level players out there know how stupid that just was. Round three. The other the other players are probably like what, <laughs> but all you all you really high level players out there know how dumb and lucky that just was for landing. Of course, he does the back step light right then. Oh yeah, I forget pirate. Ooh. Neutral light. I punished him. Oh, now he does it. <laughs> like spam. <laughs> oh man, I was trying to light, but I buffered it too much. Just light it, spam him. Light spam him. Light spam. <laughs> okay, well that's probably an old gen player. I feel bad for bullying him, honestly, dude. Like, the oh man. 500 millisecond chain lights and neutral lights landing. Outrageous, dude. But that is the pain of playing on old gen console, dude. Mm. I do not miss those days. I really, 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 really don't. Good fight, man. Good fight. Round one. All right, you guys. It's going to be last fight of the video. And before you say anything, I know, I know. I'm on Shaman. I'm on Shaman. Okay. I already got bored of Warmonger and Duels, dude. <laughs> I, I couldn't. And Warmonger, Shaman's so fun, man. I mean, although she isn't, uh, she's not, I can't say she's not good because she is definitely more than good, but maybe a better way to phrase it is that I'm not good with her, you know?
I'm not the best at shaman. I actually meant to like do a super delay GB on that, but I'll, I'll just take the free unblockable. Interesting. All right. So that that raw, I feel like she is one of the only characters that you can just throw raw heavies and they just land so often because people are scared of soft veins, you know, like. Oh, that's so unlucky, dude. Oh, he did it. Nice. Oh, miss that. See if we can hit him with another raw heavy. Sure can. And in the exact same way. I didn't mean to soft paint that one. <laughs> oh, wow, dude. Oh, man. If you can't react to Shaman neutral, she is outrageous sometimes. Oh, my God. I didn't even soft paint GB. So now, guess what? Now that he's eaten two raw heavies and he's only gotten barely any punishment or punishing, like, damage for, for like, correctly reading a soft paint or something and dodging it. He's, he's, he's gonna start dodging more, you know? Like, oh, yeah, or GBing. That works, too. Check it out. Okay. See? Now he's gonna dodge a lot, so I can just, I can probably just spam soft faint GB here, like, quite a lot. That's my plan. <laughs> light. Don't light me. Oh. That is cool. No! That was weird. I like was in the wall. Check it out. Yeet! <laughs> okay, all right, all right, we're we're ready for a light this time because I've I've been getting tagged up too many times by lights. Okay, yeet! Nice. He's not doing it. Ow. Zone him. Bam. Boom. Oh man, that's just unfortunate, dude. He, he might have been able to break- well, he probably didn't have enough time either way, but... You know, it is what it is. Shaman is outrageous, guys, I'm telling you. He made a crap load of good reads. He got soft fate GB, like, what, two, three, maybe four times? I think it was, like, three. Um, and he just stopped. And, and think if I, like, knew exactly where he was as far as skill, then I could have just started tagging him up with soft faints again. Crazy. Throwing raw heavies. Shaman is a menace. Anyways, yeah, I just couldn't play Warmire anymore. I get so bored playing her. And not only do I get bored, like... I already said at the beginning of the video, I just feel like she's not good, you know? I just feel like... And, she, and that's the thing. She is good. She, I just suck with her, you know? That's all it really is to it. That's all there really is to it. Like, I'm just not good at Warmonger. I like the way she looks. I like the idea of Warmonger. But having to open with a light or a heavy or a zone or doing a super delayed dodge forward into a bash that if you land your chain ends completely that i just feel so exposed and then not even having a proper dodge attack um on top of that like you know no gb vulnerability like for instance whenever i was fighting that tiandi in my last video like that is one of the hardest matchups for warmonger is like tiandi because you don't have a dodge attack. Tiandi's offense is already outrageous, right? She doesn't have a quick bash to make Tiandi read, and she doesn't have a dodge attack to make Tiandi read on his offense. You know, whenever you're on defense, a dodge attack is really nice to have because you can throw it in there here and there, and people have to make that read. If they want to faint to GB, you know, their, their GB is going to bounce off if you dodge attack. Um, and, and the same thing goes the opposite way. If they read a dodge attack, then you can just dodge, and then they don't get any damage. So they're having to make reads even though they're on their offense whenever you have a dodge attack. Whenever you don't have a dodge attack, like Warmonger, you know, or you have a dodge attack that's guard, guard breakable at least, uh, you know, character like Tiani just has his way. I mean, he can do whatever he wants, you know, and even if I do end up making a correct read, then he's safe on top of that, you know, uh, and, and he's safe even if you do have a dodge attack, but at least there's a little bit more effort that is required to put in, be put in and a little bit more skill. But rather than it being a 33% chance of success, on Tiandi's and when he's in his offense, because I have a dodge attack, then it just becomes 50-50. And uh, it's just super easily accessible and it's just constant, you know? And and then <clears throat> then you get somebody, you know, that can react and, and they're making good reads here and there. It's freaking crazy hard, you know? Because like I get I I can maybe get into my chain. If some by some miracle I get into my chain, you know, I have to make them read something correctly. If I if I'm wrong, then I get guard broken. And if I'm right, 
then my chain ends and I have to restart back from square one. So she just has really bad defensive capabilities in my opinion. And and, and this obviously doesn't apply to fours. I, I can't speak to that at all. Um, she's pretty good in fours as far as I can understand. But I feel like she needs something better defensively. Like people might think a bash is like offensive and it is, but it's also defensive. Like if somebody is in their hyper armor, I can make a read. Or if somebody gets into an unblockable, I can make a read and get into their bash, get into my bash. And sometimes if, if they start feigning their unblockable to dodge my bash, then I can just do a dodge forward in the middle of their unblockable, read that they're going to feign it. And then I'm also going to read that they're going to read my bash. And then I can I can just do a dodge forward and guard break their, them whenever I expect them to feign. I know that was a lot to take in, but super like high level cool stuff that you can do. And, and it's a, li a little bit easier to get pressure from range. Um, and I'm not an advocate of everybody having a bash. I don't like the whole, like, you know, making every character seem the same. There needs to be some sort of solution, though. Um, like, look at PK. PK is in, in a really weird spot because, like, yeah, her her, her mix-up got sped up. And it is still reactable to a degree. Um, it's more difficult, but it's still reactable. Um, you know, she got sped up, but that's not the problem with PK. Like, it is at the highest level, but, I mean, realistically, that's not very many people. Um the problem with PK is that her just her game sucks. I mean, the game that she plays is terrible and it's not very good for her. Um, and I feel the same way with Warmonger. I just feel like I'm always on the back foot. Same thing with PK. They need to have some other alternative to opening somebody um, that isn't so mindlessly countered, right? Like, or, or, or mindless, not even, not mindless, not only mindlessly countered, but also uh, someone safe to even participate in, right? Like, Bashes, you can stay out of range and and to the point where you can stay just out of the range of GB vulnerability for your opponent and still be able to dodge forward. And the, the most you're going to get punished with is maybe a light attack. You know, if they make a read and it's just like the perfect timing. But you can you can have a free way to at least mix your opponent up um, without there being too much risk involved. Um, now, if, you know, you bash and they make the right read, yeah, you, you have risk there. But I just mean getting into it isn't very risky. And that's what's great about Warden right now. Is his dodge forward? He can get into it and faint out so quickly. Yeah, you can get punished here and there. If, like I said, if the timing's perfect, but it's so much safer to get into. And whenever you're playing PK, all you have is a dang heavy. Like all she has is heavies, lights or light parries, free freaking light parries. They're not even enhanced lights unless the opponent's bleeding. So from neutral, just block those. And then getting into her heavies, they're slow and they're super unsafe. Like you can just get timing, you can get guard broken out if people are GBing you a lot. And then on top of that, even if you do manage to get into it, it's just not a very hard game to play. You can literally just decide to dodge or you can decide not to dodge. And it's 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 that simple. Um, so there's just not a whole lot. And she if she feels very exposed and very lackluster from neutral. I feel the exact same way about her. Um, and you could say the same thing about, about Shaman as well. But the thing is, Shaman has that bash. And yeah, I mean, you don't have to use it that often. But whenever you do have to use it because the opponent can either react or they're making a ton of reads or you feel unsafe using it, at least she has this bash that is unreactable that has some pressure to it. You know what I mean? Um, so that's really nice. Uh, and it's three directions, so it, it's just a little bit... It's a little bit more intimidating, so it's, you can get a bit more of a rise out of your opponent, if that makes sense. Whereas PK is literally just a 50-50 shot, for the most part, if you're just going to sit still, at least. Um, and, and that's not very intimidating, in my opinion. So, you know. Anyways, rant over. Uh, not even a rant, but I just figured I'd, you know, kind of got off on a tangent there. Um, but that is going to wrap it up. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the duels video. If you guys want to see more of the new mode, I, I know it's going to end here soon. Um, but if, if you do, go ahead and comment it down and, and I'll try to get it, get another video out of just, just the new mode before it, before it leaves. And who knows, knows how long we're going to see after that. Um, <clears throat> but uh, if you if you want to see more duels, more so than seeing the new mode, then also comment that. And, and depending on what you guys say, well, that'll that'll determine what I do for my next video. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I already said this, but thank you so much. Um, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Good fight, everybody that I fought today. Good fight.